Hello, this is Mighty Owl. How would you describe a painting to a friend? You'd probably tell them about the colors you see, the objects that are in the painting, or maybe even the artist or the style of art. What you then would be describing are called attributes. Shapes have attributes too. And today we're going to dig in to find the attributes of quadrilaterals. First, they all have four sides. Some have parallel sides, meaning that the sides are always the same distance away from each other. Each point where the sides of a quadrilateral come together is called a vertex. Some have right angles that look like an L. Do you know what makes a square different from a rectangle? A square is a special rectangle because all four sides are the same length or congruent. This means that all squares are rectangles. But not all rectangles are squares. This is like how all rectangles are quadrilaterals, but not all quadrilaterals are rectangles. In non-math terms, all dogs are animals, but not all animals are dogs. Now let's get creative and draw some shapes. Okay, it's time to put our knowledge of shapes to the test. Let's complete this table based on the different attributes of quadrilaterals. Starting with the first shape, it looks like the picture of the parallelogram has already been drawn in for us. We know that the opposite sides of parallelograms are parallel, since it's in the name. So let's mark yes. Are there right angles? Nope. Parallelograms look slanted, and those corners aren't nice 90 degree angles. So let's mark no. And now we can go ahead and draw a square for the next one. We know that the opposite sides of a square are congruent or equal in length. So let's mark both of those blanks with yes. Next up is a trapezoid. Do you remember what this shape looks like? The top and bottoms should be parallel, but the sides are not and will be slanted. So are opposite sides parallel? Well, yes and no. The top and bottom are, but the sides are not. So we can mark here both yes and no. And the opposite sides are not congruent. We can see that the top and the bottom are different lengths. Okay, now for a rectangle. Yours should look like a square, but two of the sides are longer than the other two. And that means all the sides are not congruent. But just like a square, there will be four right angles. And last but not least is a rhombus. Lucky you, this one was already drawn in. All sides are congruent, just like a square, but it's slanted. Yeah, that's right, I remember. It's the tired and sleepy cousin of the square. So that means no 90 degree angles for the rhombus. Mighty well done. Okay, here we need to identify all of the rectangles. What do we know about rectangles? Well, rectangles are quadrilaterals, so they all have four sides. Let's cross off the shapes that do not have four sides. Shape one has four sides. Shape two ugh, only has three sides, cross it off. Shapes three and four have four sides. And shape five is round. I'm gonna cross that one off. And shape six has four sides. Now we also know that rectangles have those 90 degree angles called right angles. Now shape one has four right angles. Shape three does not have those right angle corners, cross it off. Shape four looks a lot like shape one and also has right angles. And what about shape six? Hey, this one looks like a square. Oh yeah, a square is a special rectangle where all sides are equal lengths. And that means we're gonna keep shape six. So it looks like we identified all the rectangles. Shapes one, four, and six. Okay, we need to classify this shape. Well, first, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four sides. And this makes it a quadrilateral. Now we need to find out if it is a specific quadrilateral by checking its attributes. Hmm, does it have any parallel sides? No, it looks like if we extend the opposite sides, they would cross. Are any of the opposite sides the same length? Nope, doesn't look like it. 
Do the sides meet at any right angle corners? No. Well, it looks like this is not any special type of quadrilateral. And that means we can classify this shape as just a quadrilateral. I am a quadrilateral with at least one pair of sides parallel. Circle all shapes that I could be. Ooh, a riddle! This is gonna be fun! Alright, the first part of the riddle reads, I am a quadrilateral. And that means we're looking for shapes with four sides. Um, shape one has four sides, shape two has four sides, looks like shape three has five sides, too many, cross that off. Shape four, ooh, too many sides too, cross it off. Shapes five and six each have four sides. Alright, we've narrowed down our list. The next clue says it has at least one pair of sides parallel. Well, if we extend both pairs of opposite sides of shape number one, they won't ever cross each other. Hey, this shape fits the riddle, let's circle it. Shape two, the sides on the left and right are slanted and looks like they'll intersect or cross each other if we extend them. Oh, but wait, the top and bottom are straight lines that are the same distance apart. And this means that the top and bottom sides are indeed parallel. So we can circle shape number two. Shape number five has both pairs of opposite sides parallel too. Let's circle it. And now for shape number six. Hmm. Even though it has four sides, all of the pairs of sides are slanted and seem to cross each other. There are no parallel sides for shape number six at all. Eh, so that means we cross it off. And this means from all these shapes, the answer could be a rectangle, trapezoid, or rhombus. We solved the riddle. From all these shapes, you could be a rectangle, trapezoid, or rhombus. Great work. Wow, you did a wonderful job identifying quadrilaterals by their attributes. You also now know the difference between a square and a rectangle. So far, so good. See you mighty soon.